Hello everybody, this is Training Gamer back for the very last mod showcase I will ever do for Jurassic World Evolution 1. I know it's amazing, it's, well it's not, well it is and it isn't, it is because you know, Evolution 2 came out and I'll be putting all my folks into that, but it's, you know, it's kind of somber in that this is going to be the very last mod showcase I ever do for this game. So yes, we have three, well technically five, but these two are remakes, but we have three pretties to go through here. And let's not dilly-dally, let's just get on with it. So we will start with... We'll do a Frovenator first. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a Frovenator. <laughs> yes, the African hunter itself, the Frovenator. It's one of the ones I wanted to do for a while. In fact, all three of these have been skids I wanted to do for a while. So I thought, you know, last episode, might as well do them. And yes, you all expect to see this bad boy in Evolution 2 as well when I port it over there, when it's once I figure out how to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, Frovenator. One of the more notable things I did with this model is I reduced the um, size of the arms, so they look, because they do look a bit skinny. The Dinosaur King Frovenator, the arms look relatively skinny, so I shrunk them down a little bit. I also made the body a bit more slender as well, because again, the Frovenator is like that. But I can probably tell you right now that when I make this bad boy in Evolution 2, I will most likely use the Megalosaurus brick. In fact, I'll probably use Megalosaurus for a lot of these wind dinosaurs, because it's actually a pretty good model to use. And the, the Allosaurus rig can, does look a little bit too big on some of these wind dinosaurs, but... So Megalosaurus is a really good model to use, and one I have a feeling I'm going to be using a lot of. But yes, here is a Frovenator, looking mightily impressive there. And yes, the one thing that Allosaurus seems to have is this darkened... It's like this darkened texture by here, especially around like the legs and the upper quadrant of the body. And that's something I thought looked pretty nice on the Frovenator, on other like model other mods that I used the Allosaurus for, like Megalosaurus, it didn't look as desirable, so I had to remove it, but a, a Frovenator, I think it's it looks good on a Frovenator, so I decided to keep it in. But yes, here's our African Hunter, the Frovenator, and it, did I, yes, ha ha ha. Yes, one of the things I've actually done with all the mods I've made is balance the stats out, so they all basically have the exact same stats, and I've made it so that all the herbivores can fight each other. So the Battle Royale coming up soon is going to be absolutely insane. Which it should be because it's going to be the very last one I ever do. Oh wait, I shouldn't have done a Frovenate. I should have done these two first. Metriacanthosaurus and Majungasaurus. <laughs> yes. Metriacanthosaurus is quite ironic actually because it's, it was the very first mod I made for this game. And now it's one of the very last mods I'll make. Of course, only had to remake it because I lost all my files like an idiot. Something that won't be happening again because I backed up all my files safe and sound yesterday. So I will not lose them again. <laughs> and yes, here's one of my favourites, the Majungasaurus. Everyone seems to love Majungasaurus, but it's not that popular of a dinosaur, even though everyone seems to love it. I love it. I love the candy cane design. Right, now that those two are out the way... Uh, we'll do Yang Chungasaurus next. This one is probably my favourite. Hmm, not the best angle here. Ah, that's a better angle, yes. Again, another one I wanted to do for quite a while. It is Yang Chungasaurus, and unfortunately, I couldn't use the Jagged Fangs design Yang, which looks awesome, because they didn't give me permission to. So I made my own. So suck it. And yes, I, I actually really like this. I, it turned out really well for me. Probably the hardest bit for me was the skull, because obviously the crest and trying to get this crest in proportion to the skull size was quite difficult. So yeah. If I had to be picky, I would say the skull may be a little bit too long, but no, I think it's I think it's fine to be honest. And yes, again, because it uses the Allosaurus model, you've got the textures by you, which are a bit funny, but because most of the model skin is black, I get away you get away with it. 
And yes, one notable feature in comparison to the Afrovenator, which is over here, is that the Yangchungosaurus is a lot stockier and I made it a lot bulkier than the Afrovenator. Because Yangchungosaurus was pretty big. It was a pretty big dinosaur, so I made it big accordingly. And yeah, then I look awesome. Definitely my favourite mod out of the three I've made for this showcase. And one I'm very satisfied with. And yes, there'll be no hesitations porting this bad boy into Evolution 2. And yes, 100% it will use Allosaurus model because yeah, it needs to. <laughs> now then. Well, this is kind of tragic. This is the very last mod I will ever make for this game. It's amazing, isn't it? It's been an amazing journey. Like, before we, before I release this one, I should point, I should say, I should give a big thanks to everyone who's loved all that usual stuff that people do when they like content. <laughs> all the comments, the likes, the suggestions, you know, it's, it's awesome. I love reading your comments. Especially when I do a mod showcase and people are like, oh, that looks so good. Oh, I love that. Well, I, I just love doing it. And I really can't wait to do it for Evolution 2. Um, I am playtesting it right now, and I am having a couple of difficulties because there are some differences. So hopefully a modern tutorial will come out for dummies like me, and I can do it. <laughs> but yes, enough enough about that sentimentalness. Here we go, the very last mod of Jurassic World Evolution 1. Well, one that I'll make anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, the Not Allosaurus. feels weird doesn't it like we're we're at the end this is literally the last mod i will make and yes it's not a new species because to be honest i can't be bothered <laughs> and it doesn't it doesn't need to be but yes we have a delta dromius magnificent and again this one can easily use fit on the allosaurus rigs for evolution 2 so i won't have too much trouble and well the biggest difficulty i had with this thing was the actual texture itself because it's kind of all over the place in terms of texture and yes, we have this glaring white thing, which I um, goofed up on. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's, that's when I had to delete the uh, texture on the Allosaurus. So, hang on. If we go to the Afrovenator, wherever it is. Where the bloody hell is it? Ah, here it is. Yeah, this bit, like these bit darker bits by here, I had to delete on the Delta Dromius because it just didn't look right at all. Blue doesn't isn't a very compatible colour with Allosaurus. But yes, we have dealt the Dromius, a mighty addition to our army of mods. And yes, unlike Evolution 1, when I make mods for Evolution 2, I will actually put them on the Nexus. <laughs> yes, I know, I never go around to that, but I will do it for Evolution 2, I, I promise, I swear. Well, i got to make mods first, haven't I? Well, it wouldn't be a mod showcase if we didn't get, if we didn't see what these buggers can do, so let's release everything and... I don't kill each other. And yes, one, as I said earlier, one notable feature is that I've given all these dinosaurs the exact same stats. Well, exact same total stats, I should say. Their stats are varied depending on what rarity they are in the arcade. So Ceratosaurus, for example, is a bronze, so it's more of a all-rounder. But things like, well, gold dinosaurs, like, I don't know, Spinosaurus. So yeah, things like Spinosaurus, Sorofagonax, you know, they have high attack. But then you go to things like uh, the Zuni Ceratops, which is more rounded stats and slightly less resilient. So the gold dinosaurs are slightly stronger, as they should be. And then obviously the hybrids are even stronger then because they're hybrids. And secret dinosaurs are slightly better. And then obviously things like Sorofagonax have really high attack because it's super attack type. So I did that as well. And defense types have more defense and such. So they're the exact same total stats, but they're not the exact same stats. So it's going to make the Battle Royale coming up really, really interesting. And yes, as you can see here, this Stegosaurus is a carnivore. Because that's the only way I could get it to fight other herbivores is to turn it into a carnivore. Something which I won't have a problem with in Evolution 2. Oh, the wrong coloured Gorgosaurus. Yeah, I always get that colour wrong. Yes, it, 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 this is basically going to be a taste of what you lot have to look forward to coming up for Christmas. <laughs> I had a right good scare yesterday, actually, with my computer. I had the black screen of death. And yes, I I, I, I did fix it, thankfully. 
because if I didn't fix it, I would have lost all my vid tournament videos which I have ready to post. <laughs> that would have set me back, wouldn't it? But nope, thankfully, luck was on my side, and my tournament videos are now backed up, so if the worst does happen again, I, I can just pick up, I can fix the problem, pick up where I left off. Okay, we don't want to see those two. Ooh, Yangchungasaurus going up against Zaloatrox. Now again, these are completely balanced stats, so I have no clue who's going to win. Like, maybe the Atrox is going to edge it out because it has more resilience than that, so... Maybe Atrox will win. Again, it's, it's, it's so open. Anything can kill anything. It's going to be an insane battle royale. And maybe, just maybe, there'll be some surprise guests. No, there won't be. Don't worry. <laughs> It'll just be all mine. Come on, Yangchungasaurus. Wow. Hello, Atrox getting the win there. Oh, there's another Frozen Eater coming out. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, you can see the difference in size here. The Yangchungasaurus, much bigger than the Frozen Eater. But panicking for some reason. 85 attack and... Boom. 85 attack and 55 defense, playing 82 attack and 48 defense. Yangchungasaurus has more defense because there's a defense type variant of it. Oh, look at that. Yangchungasaurus taking on Delta Dromian. Yeah, the Yangchungasaurus is a said looks far bigger than the Delta Dromius. I I'm really happy with this how this Yang turn, turned out. I know I'm babbling on about it, but I'm just really happy with how it turned out. Probably one of my favourite mods. Definitely top five. Love it. And probably probably one of the first ones I put into Evolution 2. So you lot can appreciate its awesomeness. Oh I've unlocked something apparently. <laughs> Didn't think there was anything left to unlock. Ooh, dealt the Dromius looking good there against Majungasaurus. Now, Majungasaurus should be pretty decent because it's a silver. So, yeah, 90-50 playing 95-45. Now, Mega Raptor will be really good because it's a gold. And, yeah, 98 attack, 42 defense because it has an attack type version. Health recovery at 0 0.18 per second in comparison to 0 0.16 per second. What about, what about Majungasaurus? Oh, wow, it's Carnage isn't it? Oh, 1.8 as well. Ah, oh, Storacosaurus taking on Tormosaurus. But yes, this Storacosaurus is no longer a pushover now. It can fight back. Oh, look at it. Oh, it killed it. Wow, I'm impressed. Like, Stratosaurus is pretty good because it's got a lot more defense than the other golds. Oh, Tormosaurus taken out. Storacosaurus showing no mercy. So 85, 55, 92, 48, so yeah. Stratosaurus is pretty good. Ooh, oh, oh, well, Yang Chungasaurus is about to die. Well, one of them anyway. Ah, DLT, which is Delta Dromius, taking on the Afrovenator. Yeah, definitely going to use the Megalosaurus rig for this guy in Evolution 2. I feel like the Allosaurus model was a bit too big. I mean, it's either this or, well, there goes Yang Chungasaurus there. Or Metric Amphosaurus, which I thought would have been too small. And kind of more awkward to do, because me the Met doesn't have the spikes, so I would have to make the spikes, which again is awkward. <laughs> well, there goes an Afrovenator. Delta the Dromy is getting ki killing it. Ooh, we saw this in the anime, didn't we? Spinosaurus going up against Delta the Dromy. And just like in the anime, it looks like Spinosaurus is going to win. Or maybe not. Delta the Dromy is getting a good hit there. Wait, oh, Delta Dromius is winning. Now, these two are gold, so they should be evenly matched. So you have 95-45. Yeah, yeah, they're evenly matched. But apparently, the Delta Dromius won. Oop, we got a Frovenator going up against Aloatrox. Yangchungasaurus taking on a Metriacanthosaurus. Eh? Yeah, wow, Yangchungasaurus is not looking good at all. Wow, I... Honestly, if you could call who wins the battle right up, oh, there goes a Yangchungasaurus killed by Megalosaurus, which is pretty good. I actually did do a uh, field test to make to test to see what would happen. And let me tell you something. We we might have the most dinosaurs in the battle right up, but it might actually be the quickest one. So many fights happened all at once. It was so hard to keep track of everything. It really was. Like, everything was killing everything, and I didn't even know where half the dinosaurs died from. So, yeah, it was quite tricky to catch up with. Like, what I would like is a partner to work with, so we could have, like, split screens. 
we see the same battle royale, but we see like different parts of it. So we get to see all the fights, but yeah. <laughs> I will say that most of the fights are going to get skipped. Ceratosaurus devouring a goat over there. Which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And yes, I did have a glitch with one of the dinosaurs. So the Megalosaurus was glitched with something, trying to hunt something down. Oh, wow, Strachosaurus phase in there. Ooh, ooh, Megaraptor squaring off to a Delta Dromius. Yeah, so as I said, Megaraptor... I might use the Allosaurus rig for this guy, actually. Because it, it kind of does look a little bit too small. Oh, well, there goes Delta Dromius. Megaraptor showing no mercy. Oh, Gorgosaurus almost taken out by a Frovenator. The, recent, the winner of the recent grudge match, I might point out. If you haven't checked that out, you should check it out. Because the Frovenator gave Joe Boria, right? Good beating up. Strachosaurus phasing out there. Yum. Yeah, they go. Oh, well, almost, but Gorgosaurus is about to die. So, yeah, Gorgosaurus has a thousand strength, so it doesn't have very good resilience. But its attacks are very balanced, so. Yeah, it can still hold its own, but just not against a Frovenator. Especially when it's the Alpha of Frovenator. Let's go, Tornado Toss! Oh, there goes Metric Amphosaurus, Megalosaurus showing no mercy there. Oh, look at that! Spinosaurus killed by the Storaco. Wow, this has been literal, this is how it literally, literally was. It was absolute carnage. And I can't wait to do it to show you lot. Like, it, we're going out with a bang, put it that way. We're going down with a bang. All right, I think we should put the champ from the last Battle Royale in, shouldn't we? The only thing these, these dinosaurs, dinosaurs are gonna, gonna get, get is a serious, serious pound. pound. Come, Come out and, and let, let them have it, thank you, Ceratops. Yes, there's our champ from the last Battle Royale, the Anti-Ceratops, somehow. <laughs> well, it kind of tied with Stegosaurus, but it basically won last time because it killed better dinosaurs. Well, the Stegosaurus picked off weaklings, this thing killed like Al killed the Alpha Acro for crying out loud, and it killed T-Rex. A true killer of the Ceratopsids. And it has poison as well, so it kind of, kind of has the advantage over everything already. So yeah, I probably am going to remove the poison for the Battle Royale. Otherwise, as I said, it's going to have an advantage over everything. Ooh. Carnotaurus, like in the anime, defeating a Frovenator. Although this time he decided to bite its throat instead of going... Instead of kicking it to death with a hurricane beam. And we can't use that clip because they both got armor on and then my dinosaurs aren't armored. Yum. Yes, I would like to find a way to port, like, the actual models from the arcade game into Evolution 2. I would love to find a way to do that, but from what I've seen, it doesn't seem to be possible. Oh, well, Ankyceratops is eating Yangchungosaurus, apparently. It's become a proper predator. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. They can actually scavenge carcasses. Didn't think that would work. I thought they'd only be able to eat from feeders. Oh, oh the Atrox is dying. Okay, so who do we have left? We've got an Afrovenator left. Right, we've got two Afrovenators left. On the basis of there's only be of all the Delta Dromiuses have died, all the Yang Chungosauruses have died, I'm going to declare a Frovenator the winner. Well, out of the three new di new dinosaurs, I'm going to declare a Frovenator as the winner. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -bam -bam. So yes, I think we're gonna stop there because we've seen enough massacreage, and I'm sure you guys know what know what to expect come battle royale time. So yeah. Hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoyed this roller coaster of a journey. It's been, it's been a pl It really has been a pleasure to do it. I, I've, I've loved every second of it. Even when it got to bits where I lost my mods and had to remake them. And that, <laughs> yes, yeah, so I was that. I could have done without that. Thank you very much. But oh, Stratosaurus died to the steg. Oh, the Afrovenators. I'm picking a fight. Although I think this Afrovenator is going to die, as is this one. Wow, hell, this up. It had less health than the Anticeratops, but it held its own. Fair dues to it. This Afrovenator, however, did not hold its own and died to the Megaraptor. So yeah, as I was saying, yeah, a big thanks to everyone who has enjoyed these videos, left likes and comments and such. Throughout this journey of making all these mods, like I, I realise that I am not a master mod maker and like, they're not the greatest mods you'll ever see but they are mine and all my mods are special and I, re I really can't wait to get started in the new year doing mods for Evolution 2 and 
Well, I don't know what I'm going to do first. Actually, I'll tell you what. Pop a comment down below. Which of these mods would you like to see in Evolution 2 first? Like, pick four. And I will see if I can make that happen. Like, I know one mod in particular I want to do first. But, well, that's a secret. You're going to have to wait and see. But yeah, leave a comment down below. Which four mods from Evolution 1 should I put into Evolution 2 first? And yep, yeah, that's it. We are at the end, and it's fitting that I close the book on Jurassic World Evolution 1, just as the year 2021 is ending. It's quite fitting, isn't it? But yep, yeah, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We are never going to come back here again. I'll never do another mod showcase again for this game. All on to Evolution 2. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Comment, share this video, share the playlist, enjoy all my mod showcases over a nice bowl of Christmas rum. And until, well, until the Battle Royale, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out. <laughs>